what began as a joke became a man's last wish, and today it led to a funeral like no other. 10 TV's Glenn McIntyre witnessed this unforgettable farewell, but first a little warning here. The story contains images that may be upsetting to some viewers. Bill Stanley was no ordinary man. He was what you would call a twist of color on the tweed surface of life. He left home at 13 to work cattle ranches out west, eventually traveling to 49 of the 50 states. He settled down long enough to raise a family, but never lost his passion for the road. His daughter says that's why his 1967 Harley meant so much to him. Freedom. He could go anywhere on that bike he wanted to. My dad was a man that had the wanderlust. It was 18 years ago, while discussing who would get his prized possession, that an idea intended as a joke took root. He said, what am I supposed to do? I got two boys, one bike. My sister just offhandedly said, oh, dad, just be buried with it. I think about two weeks after that, it really hit him. What a great idea. And I, and we all was just like, dad. And he, he goes, no, that's how I'm going out. And we still thought he was kidding. 18 years later, guess what? Work to make Bill's final wish a reality began six years ago. He and his sons built the large plexiglass casket to hold him and his Harley, and he bought three burial plots next to his wife. As you know, Bill was a rodeo cowboy. Today in Mechanicsburg, yeah, mourners yeah. gathered. Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> Speechless. And gazed. He's going out in style. Gonna be hard to top this one. At a man where he was happiest. Obviously, he did it his way, didn't he? Bill Stanley, as he wanted to be remembered and be buried on his beloved Harley. It's not for everyone, but hey, that's what he wanted. When you give somebody their last wishes, why be sad? His friends and family joining him for one final ride. A remarkable sight, an extraordinary send off. That's the true easy rider right there, that guy right there. Play boys to read but fitting, offbeat, but heartfelt. And his family says just how Bill would have wanted it. We had ever asked dad anything in our lifetime, in his lifetime, something special, dad would do his best to do it for us. So this is all we could do for him. Some people walk through the pearly gates, some ride. Glenn McIntyre, 10 TV News. Some ride. Bill Stanley was 82 years old. He leaves behind four children, nine grandchildren, and 21 great-grandchildren. You know, it gives new meaning to rest in peace because there's peace for him. He knew as he was dying that, that his final wish would be granted. That was, and, I, yeah. and again, cathartic for the family, I, mm -hmm. I suppose, that they've got this lasting memory of a man who lived life to the fullest. Yeah.